Hey guys, T Stark the Torchic here, about to start my rant. Um, I'm just going to say that this is going to be my my new um my new format for my videos for analysis and for um uh for my rants. I uh, I hope you like it. Let's begin. Okay, this is going to be a a new style of video for me. Uh, it's going to be a rant where I rant about things kind of obvious. Um. I'm just so mad at EA right now. I, I went to a garage sale. Uh, I bought FIFA 06. And I go to play it, and it doesn't have the manual. So I can't play the game, because in the manual, apparently, is the code that allows me to play the game. I hate stuff like this. At least The Sims had it on the back of the game box, because I have the game box, but I don't have the manual for The Sims. Um, They, they could have at least put it on the inside of the box. That wouldn't make sense. Or on the back of the box, or the, the the Sims puts their codes on the back of the box. And when I've bought used games, they either have code on the box if I have the box, or people write the codes on the disc. I have nothing wrong with that because it's easier to keep the box, not the manual. I'm just so angry. Why would you do this? It doesn't help. I understand it's for piracy. But I could go online right now, and I could. I would take a little bit of looking, since the game's from 2006 and it's currently 2014. I could pirate it off the internet, like they didn't want me to. If I looked hard enough, I, I found that the DS one uh, was easier to run on my computer, the DS version, and that is never a good thing. I mean, really, it's this. I just don't understand. I put the disc in a computer and I do the auto run thing and it needs me to enter the code that's apparently on the bottom left of the manual and this is like a four disc game so it's one of those games um, where you have the uh, the manual slipped in there so it easily falls out I'm pretty sure that's what happened the discs are like brand new and and I'm just kinda of mad that I can't play my game that I rightfully bought. It's just so stupid. I mean, the manual might have gotten messed up, so people threw it away. Or something. I don't know. But this just makes me so angry. Uh, I, I don't know too many other games that have this. Just so stupid. Because people lose manuals and stuff. The box is easier to keep, in my opinion. I don't throw away my manuals, I keep my manuals, but I mean, it's easier to, uh, to find the boxes without the manuals. So how was this a good idea? I mean, um, I'll put some footage on the screen, I guess, of, of me trying to do this. I mean, I understand now we have, like, for piracy protection, we have Steam, and you can't really pirate Steam games very easily. Uh, I don't think you can. This is just what happened at the time. But Sims was from like 2000, and they got it better than than EA. Thumbs up to Maxis. I mean, they could have even printed it onto the disc, and I would have been perfectly fine with that. You write it down, and you put the disc in. And it would stop people from having pirated copies of the game, and would also stop this problem that I have. And there you go. Solves solves all your problems. Just think a little more. I mean, just come on! Uh, another thing on copy protection is good copy protection that was really funny was uh, Earthbound. Like, if you had a, a fraudulent cartridge and you got to the final boss, it checks to see if the cart is legit, and if it isn't, it stops halfway through the final battle and deletes all of your save data, not just the one you're playing on, all of it. So that that's a, that's a pretty good troll from Nintendo, but there are ways to stop people from um, pirating your game. Just don't have the stupid code in the stupid manual. I mean, that's like one of the worst ideas yet. Other than their um, Sim City game, the new Sim City game, I think, the one where it's um, where you have to be always on the freaking internet and and. You have to make an account 
and you have to, to do all this stuff, and if the servers are down, you can't play your game that you bought. Even if you're just playing single player. It's, it's stupid. That is worse than this FIFA 2006 stuff. I mean, but I just... I'm just so mad right now because I have my disc in. I did everything like they wanted me to, except for I didn't get the manual. And if I look the code for the code online, if I entered the serial number, if there was something like that for stuff like this... I would be really happy. Um, oh yeah, on, on the disc it says, Unauthorized copy, reproduction, rental, public performance, or broadcast of this game is a violation of applicable laws made in Korea. Well, I mean, I realized, because you have me not able to play my game, because I don't have the manual! I don't have the manual, and that's just, like, the biggest gripe I have with this that if the manual gets messed up or you you can't find the manual if you lose it you can't download the game onto another computer and i find that's just the most stupid thing ever it's just so stupid ea another problem with fifa is that from like i think it was fifa 14 it was just a reskinning of fifa 13 and they had the same game just updated the rosters just make a DLC pack. I'm pretty sure that's what they did eventually. Um, made a DLC pack that doesn't cost as much. But I mean, they really just, just cheated people. They cheated people when they did that. So, this is going to be a new style of video. I'm also going to do analysis on TV shows and video games. I was going to do a, a playthrough of, of FIFA, FIFA 06. I mean, I'm not going to do very many playthroughs from now on because I realize I talk like a robot when I do playthroughs because I don't talk when I play video games unless if I'm with someone else so I mean I might do like dual playthroughs as besides the point I'm gonna do analysis on this channel from now on um if I already did analysis well sorry this was pointless goodbye okay here is um here it is, let's go next, let's click install, install, and it's the freaking code, and I don't have, see, please enter the code found in the white box on the lower left at the back of the manual, and I'll go looking through my box, Yep, I was right. No manual, no plays. Darn it.